Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I got another unboxing for you. This is a game changing tool right here. It's a foot pedal. And momentary foot pedal. This part goes into the, uh, well, in my case, extension cord, extension wheel this part right here and then the tool itself goes into the back of this it has a connection there so with this setup when you push the pedal down with your foot you can engage whatever tool is in the on position that's plugged into this so this is perfect for a vacuum where you'd want something that's momentary quick just a quick turn on and you don't want it on the whole time I have, before I bought this pedal, I would come out to the saw, flip the vacuum on, make my cuts, and then have to reach down and turn it off. It's very annoying. But with this, you just push it down with your foot and the vacuum engages. But this tool right here, I'll show you my one that I've had for two years in comparison to this brand new one, show you how it's held up, and then I'll connect it to my miter saw setup and vacuum and show you how it works. So this is the one right here that has been used for two years and I'll show you how it's held up and I have not been nice to this thing. I mean, obviously it's something you just step on all the time and you put your weight on it, but it's held up pretty good. If you look at the comparison here, this pedal is really worn out, but as far as functionality, it's still in, it, it functions and works just as it should. And these are the same exact models. I just bought this one on Amazon. I'll put a link below in the description. And this one I chose because of its, its metal. I felt like it was gonna hold up really well, which it has. And the thing about these, you'll notice that it's got a lot of wear on this side and a lot of wear on this side. Because basically what I do is I just throw it down in whatever way it lands. If it lands like that, you could still engage it with your foot. Or if it lands like that, which I think is the proper way, you still engage it with your foot. So that's cool. You could use it either way. You don't have to sit there and worry about is it the right way. You just got to make sure it's flat and it's going to engage. So the only thing that has happened really with this one is that this has come apart right there. It still functions, but this has torn away from that plastic part and you could see the individual wires exposed and this is how it's supposed to look like that. But this is, I'm not even complaining about that. I could probably fix that real easy, just jam it back in there or even just throw some electrical tape on there. It's not a big, big deal. And that's probably just from us pulling on it when we, when we pull this to where we want it to be. So yeah, it's held up really well over the last two years. Haven't had any complaints about it and I highly recommend it. You could also use this for other tools, but honestly, uh, it's just pretty much just I use it for a vacuum. I don't use it for anything else. Haven't really seen the need for it in my work, but you could use it for momentary operation of any tool really. So I'll bring my miter saw over here, connect my vacuum and show you how this thing works. And hopefully that solves the mystery of how does he, how does his vacuum turn on before he engages his miter saw? It's a $22 little pedal. I highly recommend it, it's highly worth it. So I'll bring that miter saw over here and we'll test out this new one and make sure it works. So usually the way I rig this up is I have my vacuum right under my miter saw. I just throw the pedal somewhere out in this area. This goes into my extension wheel and then this just goes in to the back of that. For this to turn on though, well, mine's already on because I've been using it. You gotta make sure that this is in the on position. If it's in the off position, obviously you're not gonna get any power. But once it's in the on position, you can just, you'll have it ready. You can even pretend like you're in a race car. You know, have some fun with it. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, so we'll bring the miter saw over here now. I'll make some cuts and just show you how this thing works. I really, really like these foot pedals. But you'll notice yourself kind of kicking it around just to get it in a more comfortable position. 
which I don't think is a problem at all. I think if you had it stationed in the middle for the most part, you might be able to just keep it there, but that's just kind of how I do it. I just kick it around. Don't worry about it too much. So I'll get my vacuum hose and then connect this thing and show you why this is such a good thing to have. When you're connecting your hose to your vacuum, just make sure you're connecting it to the part that is the intake that sucks the air in and you'll be good to go. Unless, of course, you want to prank somebody and blow dust in their face. Because if you connect it into the exhaust, this is what you're going to get a face full of. I don't know if the camera's picking that up, but... Hey, it's a good prank. So anyways, make sure it's into the intake where it's sucking the air in and then you're good to go. Connect it to the miter saw dust port and that is a professional setup right there. And what you'll find with those little dust port bags that are given to you by the manufacturer is they fill up quick and they're just an inconvenience to keep taking your time and emptying them out. And once they fill up, the dust starts pouring back out this way because it has nowhere else to go and that's kind of how you know like this dust bag is full. The biggest benefit of this is not only does it have a place for the dust to continue to go, it pulls the air and the dust around it and sucks it down into that hose. So you have less, I guess, just dust in the area in general because it's not just the saw pushing the dust, it's the vacuum pulling the dust. So that is a, a big deal right there. So I'm gonna take this off real quick, show you how much dust flies without it. Even on this little seven and a quarter inch miter saw, there's a, this thing makes a lot of dust. You can imagine like a 12 inch, like this DeWalt right here. It's gonna throw dust everywhere. And by the way, Milwaukee's dust collection system is probably 10 times better than DeWalt's. Their, their dust collection on this thing is even with the vacuum, you still got dust flying everywhere, but the vacuum helps a lot. There's a very noticeable difference between using the vacuum and not using the vacuum. It's just night and day. There's dust absolutely everywhere, and you're breathing that in. So what I'm going to be cutting in this example is just this 1x4 MDF scrap. We'll look at the dust that flies and the dust that settles, and then we'll connect the hose and use our pedal. And I'm very tempted, just out of habit, to want to push that down, but... At this point, it's use useless because it's not connected. All right, so I just dusted my wife with a bunch of MDF dust. We got a breeze blowing this way. You want to come on this side? All right, this is a very unusual thing right now. We have a nice, cool breeze blowing through on the one time we don't need it because I'm trying to show you where this, where this dust settles. But I think you get the idea. Just get an up close view on this dust port right here and you'll see how much dust flies. Now imagine if the breeze wasn't here, all this dust would just settle. Right now it's going down that way, but you get the idea. That is a massive amount of dust for a little one by four piece of MDF. On a non-breezy day, that stuff is just pretty much hovering around you, landing on everything. It's bad. We'll do it again. <laughs> that is a lot of dust. I never really just look at the dust. I'm, I'm always looking at the workpiece. Right now, I'm looking at the dust, and it is just crazy. And that's a one by four on a seven and a quarter saw. It's still making a massive amount of dust. Now that you've seen how much dust actually pours out of that dust port, I'm gonna connect the hose, put it on there real tight, and then make those same cuts. And you'll see that there's not gonna be near as much dust flying around, especially out of here. It's gonna be pulled into the vacuum. There's really no dust coming or anywhere around this blade. Crazy. 
It's just a huge difference in the amount of dust that's flying around in this area versus not having this vacuum connected to the saw and the convenience of this foot pedal to be able to engage it whenever it's convenient. So there you have it, a little $22 find on Amazon, momentary foot pedal, heavy duty metal, thick cord. I think it's a no brainer, but um, that's just one of the things that helped me on the job site every day. I wouldn't even really operate without it at this point. But that's gonna do it. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Hey, let me borrow your tape measure real quick. Stand up. Let me see. Let me borrow your tape measure. <laughs> He's got his tool belt on. Look at this. Let me let me see what you got. Tape measure, hammer. You're like you're like a handyman. <laughs>